Creator God, we thank you for this world on which we live. You have crafted the world and all its creatures so that we can live healthy and happy lives with food and water, warmth, light and shelter. We marvel at the interdependent complexity of all life, each creature in their own niche. We rejoice at the abilities you have given humankind so that we can live in nearly every place on earth. Thank you, O loving God. We are glad too that you are a God who knows us and lives with us. We are amazed that you would send Jesus, your beloved Son, to come and live as a human, subject to all the risks and hazards that surround each of us too. You know the pains of life and of death. You know the sufferings brought by disease and by oppression. You lived through it all and came through life triumphant and victorious over evil and death itself. We worship you, O God. We acknowledge our need of you, not only to forgive our failures and to cleanse us of our sin, but to help us every day to cope with the challenges of this modern world in which we live. There are so many people now who live in the world that many of us struggle to find food and water. Our ability to travel has resulted in the COVID virus spreading around the world, killing and infecting so many and damaging our way of life. Help us all to renew the health of the planet so that everyone may have the food and water they need for a healthy life. Bless all those who are preparing for the COP26 climate conference in Glasgow in the autumn to bring forward good plans that will enable us to bring carbon dioxide back under control. O God of peace, who helps us to love and forgive each other, bring your peace to the world. Help those involved in violence and war to realise the futility of violence and to turn aside to more fruitful ways of living. Send your spirit of peace to bring peace, especially in places such as Afghanistan and Syria and Yemen. Lord Jesus, we pray for farming communities around the world. The changes to climate and weather are making things more difficult for them, and the changes we need to make to reduce carbon emissions are also going to make things harder for farmers. We pray that you would help them to move to a more arable pattern of farming, to produce food for more people, and to reduce the carbon costs of rearing animals. Help us to make best use of our crofting land to grow food in sustainable ways. We pray for our fishermen too, especially those who have been disturbed or shocked by the tragic death of Lachie Robertson. Although they all know that fishing is dangerous, it's too easy to think that it will always be someone else until a tragedy happens to someone close to you. Help them to be careful for themselves and for each other so that we can harvest the sea safely and sustainably. We pray for our Queen, Elizabeth, and her government ministers. As we continue to rebuild our economy while learning to live with the COVID virus and other diseases, we ask you, O oh God, to help everyone involved in making decisions to be honest and wise and compassionate. Help our leaders to care for those whose lives are most difficult, such as the poor, the sick, the disabled, so that everyone is able to live well in our country. Loving God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, hear our prayers today, spoken and unspoken, through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour, now and always. Amen.